Hello, and welcome to the Lighten Up Podcast with Lauren Polly, your invitation for living on the lighter side of life. I'm Lauren Polly, and I am delighted you've chosen to join me today for episode 145, Having to Know Before You Go, uh, aka Figuring It Out Syndrome. Well, whether you've heard it called this before or not, I know you know what this is. <laughs> As I break this down, I'm sure it will start to become more and more familiar with you, all the stops and starts you may go through in your day-to-day living when you are standing at a precipice, you are standing at a fork in the road and you have a couple different options laid out in front of you. And at that very moment, guess what? You have to make a choice. You have to choose to go left or right or straight or backwards or to stand still. You have a choice to follow a possibility that you are aware of or not. You have a choice to go down the road that is well-traveled and well-worn or to take one that isn't or to chart your own and actually blaze your own trail moving forward. You have these choices that come up so frequently and truth be told, our lives, our lives and our living are made up of continual choices, one after the other after the other. Go, stop, left, right, yes, no, you, not you. (laughs) We are constantly, constantly choosing the elements that make up our life and our living. And one of the key tricks to blazing a new trail for you yourself, jumping tracks, creating a better future, actually kind of owning and claiming and being, living a better you comes from becoming more aware of these choice points and being able to navigate them with more ease, more clarity, and more awareness of yourself and what you would really like to have in life. I know that sounds like a big tall order and it's like an oh my goodness thing when you start to look at it. Um, And I think a lot of people when they hear that, they start making every choice they make so significant and so important that before they actually just get into the groove of following their awareness, going with their gut, really tuning in and just moving forward with ease and kind of with a rapidity, a quickness about it that just takes your life forward, we go into this weird start and stop. When you go, oh my goodness, these choices are making up my business. They're making up my creative projects. They're making up my career. They're making up my living. Uh, We go into a little bit of choice paralysis or creative paralysis where we meet a choice point. We meet a path where we have to choose A, B, or C or this unknown trail over here. And before we go, we get so locked up in our mind of, oh, what if I make the wrong choice? But I don't know what's around the corner. What if I go down and I don't like it? Well, I know path A and path B pretty well. Path C sounds super interesting, but I've never been down there. I don't know if I can. We go into all sorts of interesting things at this choice point that actually stops our forward momentum. And we've talked about this before, the forward momentum and that kind of catalyst to move you forward really is the pull of the possibilities. It is that enticement of a better future. It's the enticement of actually, again, becoming a better you and actually living that, that pulls you forward. But so often those possibilities are in uncharted territory where we don't know that path we are not familiar with it. Taking those steps into the unknown and the unfamiliar, kind of pushing your growing edges and pushing your boundaries a little bit, gets a bit uncomfortable and can be, quite frankly, a bit overwhelming and a bit confronting to actually go, yeah, you know, if I went down this new path and I made the choice to go, even without knowing what it may look like or how it may come about, I'm going to be pushing it a little bit. I'm going to be a bit uncomfortable, but also knowing that that thing is actually leading you to that possibility that is enticing and pulling you forward. That's kind of the rub here. What would it take to actually follow the possibilities and follow the lightness of what you're asking for, your awareness unraveling for you versus having to know every single step of the way before you'll actually take a forward momentum step? It's kind of interesting. It brings up this weird um, juxtaposition on the word knowing, like having to know before you go. So many people 
don't really know what true knowing is. When you know something, it is lightning fast. It is super light. It is something that you have a visceral sense of. It's your gut, going with that gut, listening to your awareness, actually following the energy of that lightness of possibility. That's your knowing. There isn't a mind headiness to it. There isn't a significance and an, oh my goodness, if I make the wrong choice, none of that's there. That's just this thing here, it's popping. I feel pulled to it. There's an interest here. I'm going to lean in and go. That is a very subtle, very subtle skill set to start to develop. Where most of us go the opposite, we go into knowing as it's taught here, which is a mind game. It is your mind wanting to cognitively figure things out before you'll even say yes to it. It's wanting to have all the visuals before you go. So if you're turning around a corner in your life, you kind of want to peek around and actually see the path laid out for you. That way you can go, okay, cool, you know, 10 years from now, that's a place I'd like to go. So yes, I'll go down there. Uh, Unfortunately, what happens is you don't usually get to look that far in the future. So you don't ever make a new path choice because you're trying so hard to see so far in the future. You don't get the hit that it's okay. You don't have it all figured out. So you stay back in the past. Knowing in a way where you have to have your mind involved and you're having to figure everything out and you have to see the path laid in front of you before you'll ever go is a safety trap. It is you trying to play it safe and you never really kind of like leaning into those greater possibilities that are beyond what you could possibly imagine. Greater than you could possibly imagine. And yes, again, this can be quite confronting. It can be a little uncomfortable. It can be a lot uncomfortable if I'm being (laughs) completely honest. Um, You know, but at the end of the day, how would you rather live your life? Following in someone else's footsteps, following down a path that has already been pre-laid for you based on other people's thoughts, feelings, emotions, projections, expectations of what you should do, Or taking the path that you laid out for yourself in a safety way of knowing, okay, well, if I do this thing and this thing, then I know where that's going. So I feel okay with that. Or would you actually rather follow those pops of possibilities that actually lets you create a new path for yourself? One where you get to be the designer. You get to be the creator. You get to be the one forging that path forward. And that ladder, that path that you're creating, that's actually not a figure outable thing. That's not something where you're going to see step one, step two, step three, step four. Sometimes you only see step number one and it takes you stepping there, choosing it and going. And that's when step number two may be revealed to you. It's truly your mind that wants to figure it out. It is the vehicle of your mind that will hijack your possibilities. It is that hamster on the wheel that spins and spins and spins and you're sitting there feeling like you're moving forward, but really, truly, you're just spinning and trying to figure things out and trying to project yourself along the path of choosing one thing and seeing how it will turn out and then choosing another thing and seeing how that will turn out. Um... You know, how many times have you actually done that only to eventually have your mind stop spinning and here you think you've been moving forward and making choices when really you've just been standing still. There is a fascinating inert energy that comes when you're trying to figure things out and trying to project yourself so far knowing knowing everything that's going to come in a mind way before you'll actually get going. It creates an inertia of actually forward momentum and of creative momentum. It's also kind of fascinating because the mind gets so busy and is spinning so, so fast with such veracity that you waste a lot of energy. You spend a lot of energy. So a lot of us have misidentified thinking that as we're figuring things out and playing through them in our mind and playing through them in our mind story, that we're actually creating something because again, we're expending energy. But whenever that spin stops and you actually take stock of your life, for the most part, you'll notice that you've just been standing still. 
You actually haven't been moving anywhere. You've been locked in your mind, off in fantasy land, not actually taking the action, the steps, the exploration of seeing what's around that next bend. I mean, truly, our life, again, is made up of these choices we're making day to day in our relationships and our businesses and our creations and everything. And again, not making it significant, getting lost in the significance of it, but also being very clear that as you're choosing and you're moving and grooving and going different ways, you're going to really unlock yourself and be able to have more forward momentum if you're not letting your mind stop you and put the brakes on and get too lost in the what ifs, if onlys, and oh man, if I only had the steps that were going to be coming the way, I would feel more, much more comfortable going this route. It really brings up the idea of having faith. And, you know, faith is an interesting term. I know people get super religious with it. But beyond that, faith is really knowing that things are going to turn out whether they're seen or not. There is a belief in something bigger, whether you see it or not. And for me, this speaks right to your awareness of possibilities. And especially for creating your best life and being the best you. There is a possibility you're aware of. That's what's pulling you forward. That's may be what lights up path number C, where you thought you were definitely going to go down path number A. That may be what kind of calls out to go through the wilderness a bit and like create your own path, blaze your own trail. And that actually pulls you forward. It's that pop of possibility. Having faith in that, not having to know exactly what that is before you'll take your first steps, not knowing all five steps that may be in front of you and just seeing the very first one, and not knowing what it is perhaps that you want to create as that new trail, just knowing that there's something different and you're just saying yes to creation. You're just saying yes to the exploration and yes to the adventure. That's enough. That is faith and that is creation. That's actually life, and that is living. That is the active art of living. Being able just to say yes to the exploration without knowing exactly where it's going. You know, so many people are called to chart this new path for themselves, but because they don't know exactly what that's going to look like, they think they can't go. They think they have to stand at that crux point, at that crossroads, and stare at all these different paths until they figure it out before they'll ever move forward. Years of life are wasted that way. And I can't even imagine how many possibilities come floating into your lap only to leave because you're not willing to act on them. This is just a wake up call. This more than anything is to get you ignited and inspired just to say yes to the exploration. If you didn't have to know before you go, if you didn't have to figure it out, and quite frankly, you knew that figuring it out was just taking you into your mind and expending energy, it wasn't actually listening to the knowing of your gut, of your awareness, of the lightness around you, of the pop of possibility. And if you were willing to have faith that you moving forward following those possibilities would actually lead your life into greater, would you be more willing just to say yes? That's all it takes. That's all that this living is. That's all that creation is. It's saying yes to the possibilities and having faith of putting one foot in front of the other and taking another step and maybe running into a wall and taking two more steps and reassessing as you go and asking more questions and continuing to explore. That's all it is. And at the same time, as simple as that sounds, how rich is the journey? If you are looking at more and really looking at charting a new course for yourself, blazing a new trail, and again, have felt stopped because you don't know what that is, and you've been sitting there trying to figure it out, I highly, highly suggest, number one, listening to this episode again and playing with this stuff. And if you're ready for more, jumping in to blaze your new trail, a 12-week program to reinvent your career and life. We're going to be diving into this big time of what that may be and saying yes to the exploration, saying yes to the adventure and having faith, developing faith in yourself and your awareness to actually follow it, to see it through to completion and into fruition and beyond. 
take a look at the link down below. Blaze Your New Trail is starting soon on March 11th. I invite you to hop in for the journey. And again, enjoy this content. Listen to it. Break it down for yourself. Enjoy. And as always, I will chat with you next Tuesday.